Welcome back to the power shed. I uh, wanted to do some voltage data logging and you know I'd seen a lot of these uh, temperature monitors and you know they're only like about 10 bucks, 10 to 20 bucks for even a really good one and uh, I thought I could get a voltage monitor for you know 20, 25 and uh, you have to spend like $90 before you can get a good uh, voltage monitor and, and that's only a single channel. I thought you'd get like five or six channels with that. But uh, these are art, these uh, Elite Tech RC5s. Uh, you can get them for about $14. I got a pair of these for ten, for 20 and uh, that's a pretty good deal. The prices go up and down seems like. I even saw someone offering uh, 20 of these, 20 data loggers for 40 bucks. I mean, <laughs> how can you make that? But anyways, people told me that, well, you're not going to be able to get them apart. And, uh, you know, they're IP67, and you get the feeling that, like, they ought to be really sealed, but IP67 means that, you know, a raindrop can hit it, and as long as you don't expose it for a long time, it'll be okay. But uh, they fit together in two pieces. Uh, first, you have to remove the battery. It's got one of these little uh, covers in the back. And you really need to use a quarter. This takes an amazing amount of force to uh, open it up. And so we removed the battery. And then what I did was, uh, at the end here, they uh, put some silicone. And it's around the USB connector and everything. Uh, I thought these would be like all ultrasonically sound, uh, welded together. You know, and be, you know, impossible to get apart without really destroying the case. Uh, but th that's not the case. Uh, it's, it appears the silicone sort of seals this end. Uh, they do something at this end. It may be a little bit of ultrasonics or maybe just a light amount of glue. But you can crack this open with a knife once you scrape away the silicone. And it will bend over and it will stop sort of about here. Uh, this location where the lanyard is, uh, it appears to be glued here and glued there. If you go in with a knife really towards the end, uh, don't try just prying it apart because you'll you'll just crack the case. But if you apply it toward, towards the end, uh, you know, I snapped this apart and I'm going to be able to put it back together. So, uh, I have, you know, water heaters and stuff and I want to monitor those. Uh, the Elite Tech uh, program, uh, it, it has some nice charting, things like that. You can, you can take data points every second. Uh, it, you know, if you have a camp or something, you can run one of these things in your camp for all winter, and you can look and see what the temperature is every half hour or so, and you, you have all that data. 32,000 data points. So anyways, the little temperature sensor is right down here. Well, let me show you that. So the temperature sensor is here. This is the USB connector. And uh, this is a little place here. You know, this is delicate work, but you can get this out. And I just attach a wire here and just uh, so it's not overcrowded. On the other side of the USB connector, I connect onto the frame there. So I got two wires coming out. And uh, this is what I've come up with. I use a little three pin connector. The uh, center pin is the, the sense pin. So uh, if you're using just a temperature sensor, you can put this in any way you want as long as you hit two pins. And uh, this is a temperature sensor right here. Comes down this little glass bead, you know, heat shrink it, put some, uh, you know, hot milk glued in there, sort of keep everything. But uh, I can pull this apart, put it back together. And the other thing is, uh, like I say, this resistance is around 100K. And uh, we can simulate uh, a sensor. Uh, you know, suppose you want to do some event data logging. You know, uh, when your, how often your pumps come on or something like that. Uh, you could go in with basically uh, a resistor to stabilize some temperature value. Like I say, at the room temperature, it's around 100K. So you could put 120K, 150K in here, whatever. And then uh, you could have a transistor driving another 220K, 270K, something like that. 
and you'll be able to log the events. And, and you can just get these events down every 10 seconds, so you know it's quite accurate. I mean, 32,000 data points. Uh, but uh, that's my idea. Uh, this is part one, showing you how it all goes together. And uh, I don't think it'll be hard to reseal it up. You know, maybe just some tape on the side. I'll do some hot milk glue on the wire so they don't pull out. But uh, it's going to become very useful just as a temperature monitor now because you, you really don't want this. I mean, you can't get this in some tight spaces. And you hate to just sit the thing at, uh, you know, 60 degrees centigrade. And, uh, you know, what's that going to do to your life, battery life? You know, that's just going to kill most batteries. So this uh, gets you a safe distance away. And, uh, you know, maybe you can do some temperature logging, uh, data logging. Uh, I'm going to try uh, some different things, you know, equating it to voltage. But uh, I don't know. It's a fun little device. You know, if you want to spend, you know, 10 or $15, it's a nice little experiment. Part one, we'll see what happens with some of the other designs. But uh, thanks for watching.